Hey guys, it's Jacob back again here with another free pick. I post free picks every day, so be sure to follow along, like, and if you haven't already, subscribe. So uh, yeah, let's get it. In this game, we're going to be looking at Toronto Maple Leafs versus the Montreal Canadiens. And you know what, guys? I fucking love Montreal in this spot. Um, I think they're going to be a team that's going to be slept on this year, and I think there's going to be some value betting on them in the underdog role. I think they got better than what they did last year. And you know what? They weren't playing that bad last year. Like, they were playing bad at the start of the year. And then they started doing good at the end. Like, they started doing actually really good at the end. And then they ended up squeaking in. And then they got that lucky Corona Wild, or whatever the frig that was. And then they beat Pittsburgh, you know. So they, they made a case for themselves. And they're like, hey, look, we're young. And we just did this. I think Suzuki's going to be great. Uh, the the acquisitions of, you know, I love Domi. Domi was my favorite guy, man. I love the fact that he just go out there and be like a little scrappy little bugger. He reminded me of like an actual tough Gallagher that's got hands. But, you know, I hated it at the start, but I kind of like it now because, you know what, it makes Montreal bigger and stronger. Um... And I think that's important because, you know what, now we got surplus of centers and we actually have scoring. Not not pro prolific, but we have spread out scoring. Like, we have consistent, like, 20, 25 point, like, 25 goal scores. You know, like, Tatar, he's a consistent, uh, like, 20 plus scorer. Same same thing with Gallagher. You know what I mean? We, we have those s spread out scores. But I think Suzuki's going to go off this year. Um you know, and, and I, I, I give the advantage to the goaltender spot uh, Montreal. And even defensively, honestly. Like, I know they got better. I know Toronto got, like, better overall and, and, and stuff. They had acquisitions, too. And, and last year, Toronto was the better team. And they are the better team. But we, we see in Toronto a lot choke against these, like, in these kinds of spots. And I don't think it's going to be the same this year. I think they'll do a lot better than what they did last year. But I'm just I'm too much to be laying at a... Mm -mm. This, I don't know if it's just the fact that Montreal's underdog that's making me want this so much. But I really think that Montreal wins here. This is going to be a tight game, man. This is like... This, this is like one of the biggest rivalries on... Uh, ri rivalries, I can even say. On the board tomorrow. Like, there, there's some big ones, but this is one of the bigger ones. Like, Toronto, Montreal, uh, Toronto, Boston, Boston, and Montreal. Like, those are some big ones, right? And, you know, I mean, Vancouver and Edmonton are big, too. But the, this is going to be a tight game. Um, I personally think it's going to go to overtime, and Montreal is going to win in overtime. But you know what? I'm, a, I'm actually kind of scared that Price is going to stand on his head, and then they win in regulation. But I'm going to put some money down on Montreal winning in overtime because, like, it pays out really good. And like I said, I, I think there's going to be a couple OTs on this board today. And I think this is one of them. This is going to be one of them classic rivalries. And they're going to be just going against each other. Uh, so, you know, take take Montreal money line to be safe. But you know what? If you want to sprinkle a little bit, I do think they're going to win in overtime. So uh, that's my free pick. Montreal money line.